Is it an asset or is it a base? Well, we can't go around tasting foods to see if they're an asset or a base. But one thing we do know is that acids have a sour taste and bases have a bitter taste. So today we're going to test some liquid substances to see if they are an acid or a base. Welcome to my channel, Michelle Gay Science Teacher, where it's all about science. So testing acids and bases can be a very simple process. You can use what we call an indicator. An indicator will determine if it's an acid or if a substance is a base based on the pH scale. You notice on the pH scale, if it's an acid, it moves towards the color red and if it's a base it moves towards the colors blue and purple if it's neutral it's normally in the green section so we have several substances that we're going to test out there are two different types of indicators that you can use one is called a litmus paper or you can just use a natural indicator red cabbage juice Red cabbage juice is easy to make. You just take a red cabbage, put it in a blender with some water, and blend it and then drain, and you come up with this dark purple juice. So we have several different substances that we're going to test. So at the beginning, I tasted a pickle, and you could tell by the look of my face that it had a sour taste, but we really want to test using our indicator and pour it into the pickle juice to see if it's an acid or if it's a base. We're going to swirl it around and if you notice we're getting a pink color so that tells us based on the pH scale it is an acid so I'll add a little bit more because I did have quite a bit of pickle juice all right now we're going to look at salt water what do you think? Is salt water an acid or is it a base? I just took regular salt and poured into some distilled water and stirred it. Let's swirl that one around. All right. A purple tint so looks like this one is leaning towards a base now we have milk when you think about milk and you drink it or you take something like milk of magnesia what do you think it does to the stomach the stomach has a natural acid a high acid and on the pH scale it is second from the last because the acid in our stomach is what continues to break down the food that we digest. Let's try the milk. Swirl it around. I'm going to add a little bit more. Oops. Okay, don't know if you can see it, but we're getting a purple or a blue color. So it is a base. Next, we're going to look at water and baking soda. What do you think? Is this an acid? Or is this a base? Oh wow, this one turned quickly 
and it's blue, which tells us this is on the base. Swirl it again. Next, we have vinegar. What do you think about vinegar? So, so far we have acids, and we're kind of going into the base here, and definitely a base here. And now we have our vinegar, and we're back to an acid. So we're going to put, let's put it over here with this one. Next, we have dish soap. Now, I said a base can be slippery uh, to the touch, but we're going to test this out, dish soap and water to see. Swirl. All right, and we have a blue color. Test one more and we're going to test an Alka-Seltzer. Why do people take Alka-Seltzer and how does that affect their stomach? So let's put that in there and let it get fizzed up. While this is fizzing, do you think this will be an acid or a base? Pour some in. Hope I got enough effervescent. And so we swirl that around. So we have a light purple color. Light purple color. It's almost close to the salt water. It's close to the salt water. Now that we have conducted our investigation and we have tested using our red cabbage juice, our indicator, you can see the range of colors. Starting on this end with our pink, which was the vinegar and then the pickle juice, these are our acids. And now we're moving over into the category of the bases. And in the bases, we have where we have our salt water, Alka-Seltzer, we have our milk, and we have our baking soda. And so you can see the range of bases. If we had lemon juice, where would it fit in the category? We know it would be an acid, but would it be stronger than vinegar? Or would it be less stronger than pickle juice? Acids and bases can be determined using the pH scale and the indicator paper can determine or the red cabbage juice can indicate if it's an acid or base and you compare it to the pH scale and that will help you to know. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time on my channel, Michelle Gay Science Teacher.